books. Today, books are on our iPads, Nooks, and Kindles, or streaming right into our ears. But before the internet transformed them, books looked like this, only this. And buying a book meant going to a bookstore. And bookstores? Well, for many years and many Americans, bookstores meant one place, Barnes & Noble. Welcome to Urbex, the best place for videos on retail and abandoned places. If you're new to the channel, I do videos just like this every week. So become a member today, click that subscribe button and ring that little bell so that you don't miss a future upload on this channel. Hey everyone, welcome back to Urbex. Today I'm here at the Barnes & Noble in the Waterstone Plaza. My mom, crazy old lady's joining me. She loves bookstores and physical oh, books. I love them, yes. I'm not really a fan of them anymore. I don't really care for reading, um, but you You're know. You're ADHD. Yeah. That's why. This Barnes & Noble is closing and moving to the Deerfield Town Center nearby. I should have said we're in the uh, Mason, Loveland, Deerfield area of Cincinnati. So we're going to check out their closing sale. Um, this is a very, very rare occasion to see one of these closing or moving. So follow along with us. Wow, that sun is like murderous today. Look at that. There is Barnes & Noble and you can see all the signs over here for the... Everything in the store is 40 to 50% off. Wow. And then there is the closing sign and they'll be having a new store coming November of 2021. All right, from what I understand, Barnes & Noble is going to try and do a new format where instead of having all the stores exactly the same, they're going to have more local selections. So like your books will be more tailored to the local area. So for this area, it would be Cincinnati, things relating to Cincinnati, Cincinnati authors, all that kind of stuff. Off of that. And you know, I heard they're doing this new format to try and save the company. So they want to switch away from the traditional, um, have every store the same um, inventory to everything kind of different between different things. So a Detroit Barnes & Noble will have different things from the Cincinnati one versus, you know, all the other different markets. So we're going to take one last look at the Barnes & Noble Cafe. I did get word that they will have a cafe at the uh, new store. And it's going to also be a um, Starbucks, from what I understand. They do want to keep this format, and I think that's a good idea because if you come in here and uh, pick out a book, you can sit down and read it and have your coffee. Yeah, well, you read that book as what? I'm not saying it. Yeah, well. It's just not nice. Neither are these. <laughs> wow, you can see it is thinning out in here. Let's go over here and look at some of the um, figurines, the kids section, and all of that kind of stuff. Well, I was hoping to get some of the Harry Potter stuff, but wow, they have completely sold out of that because they always have all the cool figurines, the wands. And all that stuff. They're always really expensive, and I thought maybe getting them on sale would be good, but nope. Well, here at least we have some games and different. There's BTS Uno. This is Ooh, Mattel Uno. And we have some, like, puzzles, games, kids' toys. All right, so I needed to come back in here and document this place because I remember reading books here with my mom when I was a child and um you know they probably won't have this exact same thing at the new store I don't know maybe they will but it definitely won't look the same so I don't know I kind of think it's a good idea that they're going to try out a new format in a last ditch effort to try and save Barnes and Noble um but have you guys noticed that stores in recent years have just sort of been on this binge to ditch what they have and just completely get a new store and it's almost like they're trying to trick people into like hey look there's a new format of this store to get people interested in it again and i don't know how i feel like that kroger does that all the time they'll ditch like a perfectly good store just to move like right across the street into another one that's different looking or they'll have like these grand reopenings and i'm like you didn't do anything to the store to change it that's a cool book but 10 bucks do sharks bark do adults really think their kids are that stupid? Like, really? 
Well, what I mean, did... I know when I was young, I wasn't that stupid. I would have looked and said, barking sharks? Okay. Seriously? What sound does a shark make? They don't really make a sound, as far as I'm aware of. I'll bet they do. I don't think so. So this is what I'm talking about when I said that Barnes & Noble is going to change format and they're going to offer more stuff like this. This is all local stuff. So you can learn about the Cincinnati, the, Sound. The Cincinnati Sound, the, the Art Museum, Museum of Cincinnati, History. Their, yes, the World War II years of Cincinnati, all this kind of local stuff. And I think that's great. All right, supporting, I was going to say supporting a local business. It's not really local, but still keeping a business, business open. open that you know there's not very many bookstores left in fact this is really the only major bookstore all the others are real tiny so this is kind of I'm the end of an era of the other big one. i mean walden books but that's small Wasn't books a million is small no, um there was another one yeah borders bookstore borders. that went out of business that was from ann arbor michigan yeah so uh, two root beers here and some chips so yeah, this is the last of the remaining large bookstores in existence. Curious thing should be pointed out on this video. Super smart. She said, Who's why? She? Right she? there, you. Oh, well, I just wanted you to clarify that. Anyways, why is one bottle clear and the other bottle is brown tinted and they are both regular there is no difference in the liquid inside. They are identically the same. They taste the same, yet the bottles are completely different. Weird. Wait, 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 I just got a... Behind you. Thanks everyone for coming along as we took a look at this Barnes & Noble one last time here in the Waterstone Boulevard, Waterstone Shopping Center, whatever you want to call it, in the Cincinnati area. This wind is terrible right now and what are you doing? Put IBC. Your, put your bottle over. Cheers. Oh, you can't really see it in here. Um, Ouch, my arm is stuck. Yeah, you're stuck in. <laughs> what I was trying to say is as soon as the new store opens, I will definitely be making a trip over there to check it out and share a video of it with you guys. So do click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when, whoa, that's cold. Stop doing that. You're putting cold root beer on me. <laughs> Anyways, make sure you have all the buttons and stuff clicked so that you'll get notified about the new uh, video when I go film the store sometime in November or early December. For now, that's gonna do it for another episode of Wait, we're on Urbex. It's gonna do <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna do it for another episode of Urbex, everyone. Bye, Bye. for now. Bye.